So here's the tent canopy setup I was telling you about at the college. And after a few days of prepping the bikes and getting new tires put on, cleaning the air filters, we had a rough couple days of getting things together. George was having problems with his chain. He bought a new one, but it ended up being the wrong size. So he returned it and had to find another one uh, where they only had one left in stock. So he got lucky. I was uh, traveling down the road in Fairbanks. We were uh, going to get the tires put on actually. And my bike just shut, shut off. All the codes came up on my display and just totally shut right down, just stalled right out. Wouldn't start, wouldn't even um, turn over. All the codes were just lit up. I did take apart the fairing and I looked at all the wires, everything was connected good. So I took my bike to Northern Power Sports in Fairbanks, Alaska, uh, which I highly recommend. And while they were looking at it in the morning, we went and had breakfast, me and George. We came back an hour and a half, two hours later to discover one of my most embarrassing moments. Uh, the service manager called me over and he said, um, the good news is uh, everything's working perfect. Your uh, trip is still gonna be a go. And then he dropped a sharp towel onto the counter and said, do I remember this? Well, apparently while I was cleaning my air filter and everything, left the cover off so I could let the filter dry before I oiled it and I left the sharp towel in there so no dust would get into the air box. When I was riding down the road like 10 miles down the road it um, sucked the sharp towel into the throttle body just threw off every coat and shut the bike right down and it was amazing that uh, no further damage was done but no uh, harm done but my wallet a little bit and my ego. A cool, calm, collected guy. I like to call him the man without a plan. He's from Houston, Texas, and he has just about everything imaginable on his motorcycle that he travels with besides a kitchen sink. Actually, I might take that back. He may actually have a kitchen sink. That's right, folks. If you look close, he has a full cooler on there. He actually has a guitar, bungeed, a tent, and many, many other supplies. He uh, left a family business and is just uh, traveling around the United States and Canada. Doesn't know where he's going next. And he's just uh, living on a budget, putting gas in his tank, and exploring the world. It was a pleasure to meet him and also have him join us on this final push from Fairbanks to Prudhoe Bay. And his bike is the 05 GS. Man, that's a sweet looking seat. That thing looks comfortable. Oh, dude, it is comfy. My butt has not gotten hot or sweat through once on this trip. He's a firefighter from Chicago. He likes to put on long distance. And I like to say he's down for whatever. Always looking to ride. He does a month trip once a year. He's been to Prudhoe Bay before. And we met him at, uh, actually, when we were getting our tires done, we met him. And he came out to dinner with us the night before we were going to leave. He said, you know what, I'm going to break my plans and I'm riding with you guys. I'm going back to Prudhoe Bay. And, and we couldn't all be more happy. As you can see George here in the footage. We're doing it. We oh, convinced we Mark. Are. Mark is, uh, I like it. he's going north. I don't believe it. I don't oh, know, I know many of my friends do this thing, but I'm right. so happy. I'm so yeah, happy, yeah. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is you your, cry, my friend. Is your arm is your arm sore from all the twisting? Yeah, a little bit of twisting, I yeah, think. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit sore, right? The joint. Yeah. We got Hunter over here. He's... All right, guys, we'll see you at uh seven o'clock? Yep. Today is a glorious day for fun, opportunity, and adventure. Let's have fun, boys. Departure. March of the Prudhoe Bay. Yeah, getting a late start. It's uh, after 11. None of us were right on time. We planned to uh, leave at 10, but 
with uh, checking out of the room and pre-booking for tomorrow's bus ride. Putting stuff in storage so we were not as weighed down up on the Dalton. All took a little bit of time, so we're all leaving together just a little later than uh, normal. But uh, the reason why it's kind of important is uh, it's supposed to, the weather's supposed to be real nice today, but it's supposed to rain um, tomorrow and the next day. And um, anybody that's traveled to Dalton knows that uh, it can get pretty nasty when it gets wet and of course I haven't done this before so I'm just speaking from what other people say but so we'd like to get more miles in today that way um, we don't have to do as many tomorrow in the sloppy mud So we got a little makeshift uh, weight distribution uh, going on at our, uh, I guess this will be technically our first little stop. We're at the beginning of the James W. Dalton Highway. This is it. We got the rock strap crew on uh, heavy at work. We got Hunter here, shared some fabulous uh, trail mix with us. We got a little, uh, great little snack in. Yep. Hold us over till maybe cold foot. Maybe we'll uh, grab a bite there or something. Would be all right. Right near the turn off of Manly Hot Springs. I wonder what those are all about. If we had more time, maybe we'd check that out. But North is the future. That thing has got to be some serious dough. Look at that thing. Awesome. I don't have cold feet. Not at all. Not at all. Is this where the food is too? Nice.
Right there. Nice. <laughs> well, it, you've been hungry. It really uh, smoothed out. Say what? The road smoothed out a bit. Yeah. It was nice. It'll it'll stay smooth for a little while longer, and then then yeah. the fun starts. The uh, the frost teeves were they jolt my back. Yeah. Man.